you can turn beautiful pens like these. All you need is a lathe and the right accessories. I'm here today at the Woodsmith store with Richard. He's one of our store managers. And we've got a pen turning bundle kit put together here. And I'm, I've made one pen in my lifetime. I'm not a turner. And mm -hmm. I know you've made quite a few yeah. pens. So I was hoping that maybe you could walk us through this little bundle and, and show us uh, what the items are and how they work. Sure. Um, the first item we've got is um, the pen mandrel. This is basic to pen turning and most of the pens you're going to turn, you're going to need a mandrel. That goes into the headstock with the, uh, the Morse taper. That fits in like that. The shaft, you could vary the length to accommodate whatever size your pen is. And then uh, this section here um, is on a screw, so it tightens up. Okay, sure. Um, once that's done, then the, uh, the tailstock is brought up to support it, like that. Um, it's tightened, and then uh, you go ahead and turn once your blanks are threaded on. And there are little bushings you see on here. These are meant to be spacers. That keeps your chisels away from the large ends. And so you just slide this shaft in or out for the, the length of the pen you're Correct. making. So it's, Correct. A, it's adjustable, universal, one, one size fits all. Right. Okay, great. What else do we have here? Um, we've also got a barrel trimmer. The barrel trimmer it consists of a shaft that has a little cutter on the end. Okay. Um, that cutter is more than just decorative. It helps you to clear out any glue that might be in the uh, either epoxy or super glue or whatever. When you glue your glass tubes from the kit into your pen blank, this will help clean out any glue that might have gotten ah, inside. I see. Um, and then the back end of it consists of a set of blades that are square to the shaft. And the shaft fitting inside the pen blank lets you get it in there. And when you're trimming, you trim up your blank up to the end of the pen tube um, with this. And this keeps it square, is always square to the blank. All right. And I notice we have a few cutters here of different diameters. We do. Um, we've got from just a basic seven millimeter um, it goes all the way up to three-eighths of an inch uh, and up. So um, these different sizes fit into here. Um, you lock it in place with a set screw, and then um, these fit into different size tubes. So that not only trims the end of the blank, but it make, it squares it up. It with squares it up screw. also. Oh, right. So all of your, uh, your parts, when you press them together at the end, they all fit together. Okay, gotcha. All right. And then last, what are these little little doohickeys here. <laughs> These little guys are plastic bushings. Um, once you've turned your pen, a lot of, of people like to finish their pen blanks um, with super glue, which gives you a nice glossy oh, finish. Right. The problem is, is that if you leave bushings on like this that are holding your blanks in place, when you're putting the super glue on, you always get some on your bushings. So then they end up gluing the bushings to the blanks. Mm -hmm. When you have to break them apart, sometimes you break your blanks sure, or whatever. Sure. Um, these are, are conical, so they fit any size uh, tube that you might have and keep it centered on the shaft. But more important, they, uh, they also are non-stick. So the glue doesn't stick, stick. to them. Okay. You can take them off and you don't have to worry about breaking your blank. All right, and then I assume you can reuse those then? These are reusable, yeah. The glue, any super glue that gets on them just pops off. Okay, great, great. So these items are not everything you need to turn a pen, but... Not everything, okay. but they will get you started okay, and, right. uh, and give you a good start. Well, for more information on this pen turning bundle, check us out at thewoodsmithstore.com.